Hi everyone and welcome once again to another edition of NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton right here in the NJPW Event Center where we've got lots to get to this week. We're coming up to the New Year's Golden Series on NJPW World. There's lots to talk about with Strong, some big events coming to the US and how's this for a free match this week. Over the next few weeks we're going to be taking a look at the matches you guys voted for when it came to the best of Strong in 2021, starting this week with Tomohiro Ishii versus Brody King. That coming up, but first, let's look at what's been happening around the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling this week. We start in the US this week, where Nemesis continued in front of a hot crowd at the Vermont Hollywood. Starting with Carl Fredericks and Kevin Knight of the LA Dojo, taking on Stray Dog Army's Bateman and Mysterioso. Mysterioso and Bateman were aggressive early and separated Knight until a short-range dropkick brought Carl Fredericks inside. Fredericks landed a corner dropkick and an elbow, and while Mysterioso responded with a spectacular, impactful leg drop, Knight would provide expert support as the match broke down. Diving with a plancha to Bateman, he left Mysterioso inside with Fredericks and a spinebuster, and MD gave the first win of the year to the Alpha Wolf. Dave Dutra had a taller task at hand in the form of Brody King, a difficult opponent indeed for his NJPW Strong debut. Dutra threw what he had and went big with a Kibrada and a swing DDT, but missing with an elbow opened the door to Big Bad Brody King. A Big Bad Lariat scored and then a Gunso Bomb, giving Brody a convincing victory. But after the top dog Jonah attacked David Finley on his debut at Battle in the Valley, Anticipation was high for our main event here tonight. Finley exploded out of the gate and did what he had to do, bringing speed and hitting hard until he ran into the brick wall that is Jonah. Finley went for a plancha but instead went into the ring post and got stuffed with a senton, but Finley would gut out the punishment and flew high, getting two from a high cross body. When Jonah missed another senton, Finley found a cross face and went for an acid drop but couldn't complete the move, getting caught with a backbreaker, a power bomb, and then the tsunami as Jonah remained undefeated on strong. Meanwhile, in Japan, we're in between tours as we're getting set for the start of the New Year Golden Series. It all kicks off Thursday, January the 20th, live and free on njpwworld.com, starting a month-long tour that will end February 19th and 20th in Hokkaido's Hokkaido Diao. There, the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line between Tetsuya Naito and Kazuchika Okada on night two, while night one will see Hiroshi Tanahashi defend the US gold against Sonata. Plus, plenty more title action coming to big events in Osaka and Sendai as well. Check njpw1972.com for more information and come back Thursday completely free on NJPW World. And don't forget that this week, New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Access TV. Starting January the 20th at 10 Eastern, classic episodes from the archives will be aired before all new action hits on March 3rd. Tell a friend and get the word out that New Japan Pro Wrestling is back on Access in 2022. So some great action on Strong this week and some big, big matches to look forward to in the coming weeks in Japan. Lots to look forward to in the US as well, live and in person. On February the 17th, Rivals hits the Vermont Hollywood. We're back again, and so is Jay White, Tom Lawler, Fred Rosser, Christopher Daniels, and many, many more. Make sure you get your tickets now. And also, if you're in the Tampa St. Petersburg area, get your tickets to our return to Florida and the Coliseum on March 20th for Strong Style Evolve. All of that information on njpw1972.com. All right, let's take you to our free match this week. It was voted as the number five best match of 2021 by strong viewers. It's Tomohiro Ishii versus Brody King. It's from Riverside in California. Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly are calling the action. What Tomohiro Ishii had to go through to win the Never Openweight Championship. I did not think that he would survive. He could barely stand. 
where and how he got it done was a true feat. So the first bad action for the new never open weight champion since winning the title from Switchblade Jay White at Battle in the Valley is here tonight on New Japan Strong on the Detonation Tour. There is Tomohiro Ishii. If there were ever kindred spirits on opposite sides of the ring, it would be these two. So let's compare this match, our main event, to what we saw in our opener with Gabriel Kidd and Jonathan Gresham. That match had very few strikes. Very technical mad wrestling matchup. This absolutely will be the opposite. We're gonna see some violence. We're gonna see these men go to lanes to break each other apart. I mean, look at the size differential here. Ishii, five foot seven. Brody King, six foot five, 285 pounds. Look at this visual. And they're not wasting any time going right at it. Nishi doesn't care that he's giving up size to Brody King. He's going to carry the fight with that same Ooh. tough attitude. And Brody able to bulldoze right through Tomohiro Ishii. My buddy Joel Yentis in England said to me, every time I see Brody King on New Japan Strong, it seems like he's gotten more tattoos. Is it even possible? Where is, it, where is there more space for oh, a tattoo? There's always more, more canvas for the artist. And he's tattooing Tomohiro Ishii in the corner. With ease, the body slam. Now Brody King moves. Oh boy, the senton. What a splash there. Leg hook and a near fall. Now look, the biggest uh, win of Brody King's career here on New Japan Strong was a clean victory over the current U.S. IWGP U.S. Heavyweight Champion Kenta with the Gonzo Bomb. If he can connect with the Gonzo Bomb on Ishii, it's over. And it was a year ago that Brody King challenged Kenta for that U.S. Heavyweight Championship rights holder certificate briefcase. Kenta was chasing that U.S. title for two years before claiming it at power struggle against Hiroshi Tanahashi Slugfest. Hard club over the back of Ishii. Just as Ishii started to build some momentum. And the way Ishii builds momentum is by fighting through, cutting through the pain, blasting through his opponent. Mind over matter, mind over body. A snap mare from the cravat. And now the step over and he's gonna crank the deck. Oh man, and that's a lot of pressure there. Look at the, the way that he drives that elbow into the temple of Ishii. And look at the way Ishii oh. was trying to take some shots at the knee of Brody King, which has been a problem issue for Brody in the past. Shoulders down, a kick out at two. And that would be a smart strategy for Ishii to attack the, the weaker, the, the weak, knee of uh, Brody King and just work, you know, pick him apart. W work that leg. That's the only way that he'll be able and to pick him up. A kick to the knee now leads the attempt, at least the thought of a vertical suplex, but he's going to have to work station by station to break, your, break the bigger man down. That's a lot of weight to pick up. And that wild wailing forearm from Brody King, he pulls back from 8th Avenue and unleashes it. My God. Oh, oh. oh my you 
can hear the thuds Wait resound in the Look venue. Look at Ishii, he's locked his arms on his own over the top rope and saying, come on, hit me. He is a wild pit bull, I tell you. He's a masochist. Kidding me. And he's going to try it again. And again, all he can do is get Brody King up on his toes. Now lifts him a couple of inches off the mat before Brody tries. Wait a minute now. Oof. That forearm took Ishii off his feet. Watch out, watch out. Oh, Ishii barely moving out of the way there. And now he's got a hold of Brody. And oh my time God! Able to Jeez! But that also took a lot of energy out of Ishii. You know it. Ishii's chest looks like it's been split open. Go kick out. Five minutes at that. Five minutes. And Brody King is actually the first man. Look at the lacerated chest of. The never open weight champion. Ooh. And now Ishii's take on this famous Tenru like combo in the corner. You split my chest open, I'll split yours in half. Brody's stumbling here, but yeah, still he's standing. Staggered, but so much effort to get that big man off his feet. Standing switch. Ooh. The monster is angry. Oh, that is clash of skulls. Oh. oh. King nearly took Ishii out of his boots. Dueling chance, it almost sounds like Broshi. <laughs> Broshi. Hell of a tag team name for these two. There's a lot more commonality than you might think between these two different looking athletes. There is a similar style, there is a similar code oh. that they live by. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you. And it's all good. Uh-oh, well this might end it. Brody King. Ishii widening his base, trying to do everything in his power to prevent Brody from picking him up, but he's up now, watch out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ishii's getting lower than Brody King. At least that's the effort. That's the try. Brody relentless, clubbing the back of Ishii, and Ishii has collapsed. Yeah, just what it looked like Ishii could be setting, had thought, I for a second, like a backdrop perhaps, but was unable to execute. Ishii's fading. Yeah, he definitely is. And the splash in the corner. Brody King. Oh, this is, is, this is gonna take him out. Here he goes. Oh! All of 285 pounds crashing into Ishii in that corner. Oh! Pile driver. The pile driver on Tomohiro Ishii. The leg is hooked two and whoa, My a God. kick out. How 
how he was able to kick out of that neck and vertebrae compressed on that pile driver. How is he even up on his feet? Wait a minute, wait a minute now. Ishii up on his feet. The waist lock. Oh! Left, right forearm. Oh, did you hear that? Man, oh man. God up on the shoulders. Wait a minute, no. Shoved to the ropes. German oh! suplex. Catching the momentum of Broda King coming off the ropes. Oh, yeah. She might have tore every muscle in his abdomen trying to lift Brody King that time, but he was able to execute. Definite war of attrition here in our main event. The never open weight champion, Tomohiro Ishii. One on one, Brody King. Ishii fires a clothesline. Brody doesn't go down. Brody King is staggered, though, Alex. Jutsu kick out. 10 minutes have passed. 10 minutes. Can't knock him down. Swing and a miss. Still standing. Oh, oh, my God, that was a hepa right on the chin. That knocked Brody silly. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sliding Lariat, bang, no! Brody King says no! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my. oh, my God. Brody King down two and oh. almost a three. They will stop at nothing to get this win. Is she on his horse? Here he comes, swatted away. Again, Brody, the defense. Ishii stiffens up underneath the clothesline, comes firing, caught! Catches him! Black hole slam! And now Brody King, up on the shoulders. Dickinson! Oh! Dickinson, his tag team partner on the injured list, using that dead belly driver too! Oh. Shout out to Chris, gets an ear fall. He is so close. Brody King is moments away from putting away the current never open weight champion. And he's going for the Gonzo Bob, the same move that he defeated Captain Wynn, but he should land on his feet. Headbutt midsection. Rolling oh. up. Oh, with the Enziguri. Oh, my. This should do it. Two and three. Oh, oh my. Two and only two, says referee Jeremy Marcus. Well, if he connects with a Gonzo bomb, Ishii might be dead for sure. And he's going for it again. This could be it, Kevin. Yes. Oh. oh, wait a minute. No. Thought he had it. Oh. Ishii slipped out. Sliding Lariat. Sliding Lariat. Two. Oh. No. Ah. Ishii calling for the vertical drop brain buster. Easier said than done. Let's see if he can execute. Oh, Got my God. Up. Got him up. Got him up. Got him up. Vertical oh. drop. Brain buster. Vertical drop. Brain buster. And he has wow. done it. Toma Hiroichi outlast Brody King. What a battle. 
ただいまの試合中3区37秒石井選手の勝利です Just when it looked like Brody King was gonna finish the job and put away Ishii, somehow Ishii was able to pull out the victory. Somehow he was able to pick him up for that brain buster. What a warrior. I don't think there is any match that Ishii participates in that is not a war. Ishii's talking to the referee like, did I win? Did I win? Yes, he won! What a match! And what a way to round up this week's edition of NJPW Extra. We'll have more great action for you next week, as well as plenty to discuss when it comes to matches in Japan and the US as ever. Until then, Doki Genyo, sayonara.